wish I had been a little bit smarter. I found some bugs on my leaves of my cucumbers here. And I seriously wish I had taken a second before I blasted them with the flat on the hose and taken a picture so I had a freaking clue what's infesting. Or at least what's looking at my leaves. I have a feeling it was slugs. And I mean, I don't know. I think slugs is probably the most likely. And there's not a whole heckin' lot I can do to protect them, so I'm gonna have to trap the slugs. So I'm gonna have to come up with something for that. I don't know what to do. So back to the research board, sadly. Uh, highly likely that this is a bad position for my cucumbers, but we'll find it as we go. And since I'm out here every day, I should be able to keep them from completely eating all of my cucumbers before I figure out a better solution. Uh, haven't checked these ones yet, so let's see. These are up in the bed, so they're a little bit, I don't know, they're a little bit more protected and a little bit less. So like, it could be easy that it's just the placement. It could also be a lot of other things. Sadly, there's been a lot of cabbage moths, so keeping them off my cabbages has been an absolute pain in the butt. But I'm out here every day, like I said, so that helps. And over here is my tiny new baby plant. This is my Brussels sprout that I bought from Walmart. And hopefully he does okay. He seems to be doing pretty good in his little pot. Um, at least he hasn't uh, up and died, which I've had in an overnight transplant. So <laughs> we've made it through one day. That's pretty good. I have pretty much all of this to transplant. So all of that has to be transplanted. The beans are good, for now. Uh, maybe. Oh no, they're bush beans. Never mind, they're fine. Uh, the potatoes. So my potato plant is going to get transplanted over there into a tire. And it's just a, a tire with a fabric bottom and some cardboard. And now I'm going to fill it full of dirt. And I'm going to mound it up really, really high. I'm going to put my potato plant in it, and I hope that is a whole lot better for my plant. And I hope it gets some love. Over there is a thistle. Here's some thistles. You know why? Ladybugs, or ladybirds as some of the people have called them. They eat aphids, and you really want them. And I saw, I know I saw aphids yesterday. So, I know that at least some of my plants are getting attacked by aphids. And, uh... I definitely would like to encourage the people that are going to get, or the bugs that are going to come and get them from doing the thing. I think my spinach is at its actual last life. So what I'm going to do probably either today or tomorrow is I'm going to plant some new spinach seeds and take out these tall bolting ones and have like a spinach stew or something. Spinach sauce? Mmm, spinach sauce on spaghetti sounds delicious, actually. At least my cabbages are doing well. Uh, <laughs> they are having a wonderful time over there. Um, or maybe I just won't put spinach in this bed. Because, um, wow. It has definitely, like, the, the things that are in this bed now are, are populating to the point where I'm worried that the spinach won't get what it needs. But I don't actually remember whether spinach grows better in shade or in full sun, so I'm going to have to look it up. If it needs more sun, I'm thinking that this is going to be the last haul I take off of these lettuces, since I have the same kind of lettuce that is over there growing now fresh. Or, no, that's butter crunch, and this one was... I don't actually remember. Little Jim, I think. It may not have been. I don't remember. I'll have to go check my seeds and my plan to figure out what it was. All I remember is that it's winter lettuce. I don't actually remember which seeds I put in there. So, but I mean, it would be a good place for spinach to go if it needs more sunlight than it needs um, full shade. Because with the cabbages, they are, or cauliflower, I mean, they are definitely overgrowing that space, which is kind of the point. That was that was why I had them spaced out like that. 
I knew they'd get like this. So, there's that. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's let's do some research and figure it out, and I'll let you guys know later. <laughs> Wish me luck.